It's time once again for the Molly and Sunny Boy Vodcast. Vodcast. And today we're going to talk about a bodice ripping song that we wrote on a dare. The title is called Keeper of the Flame, You Are the Breath of My Desire. <sighs> <sighs> of the Molly and Sunny Boy podcast podcast and today we're decked out in our little Harley here's our little pig hog and you know it's springtime and it's motorcycling time and it's also time for romance yes sip a little tea before you ride your hog and uh, well I guess we're both Harley and Honda people because we have a Honda scooter and a Harley motorcycle although I must admit the Harley motorcycle actually works yeah, we just have to fix this video. <laughs> and we will. Today, however, um, we're going to talk about a, a song that uh, is called Keeper of the Flame, You Are the Breath of My Desire. And years ago, I used to be hooked on soaps, soap operas. And, uh, you know. At least you didn't read those romance songs. Oh, God, I read them. Uh -oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Barbara Taylor Bradford, does that ring a bell? Or, uh, oh, all those famous authors. And, you know, I, I just ate them up. And, of course, they followed a formulaic way where boy meets girl, and then usually boy dies and girl remarries, and then they start an empire, usually, in the stories. Uh, or it's a romance. Oh, I love those Barbara Cartland romances. And you'd have these girls in these bodices, and they were so prim and proper. But, boy, when you got them uh -huh. <laughs> excited <laughs> when they found somebody, then they, were, they sang a different tune. And maybe they sang a song like this that we've created, called Keeper of the Flame, You Are the Breath of My Desire. And uh, someone had mentioned to me once that I bet you can't write a song uh, like a romance title, and I thought, doggone it, I'm up to the challenge. Yes. So uh, this song has been um, long sitting and gathering dust until Sunny Boy heard it one time, and, and you rather liked it, because it was kind of melancholy and eerie, like one of those gothic romances. You know, so um, yes. I hope the boy doesn't die in this one. Um, no, 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 we won't kill him off. Uh, in this story, boy meets girl. Uh, girl is sexy and lives in a little uh, upper upstairs apartment. Okay, uh, yeah, cool and, with that. And then uh, boy watches girl, and uh, afterwards they meet in a coffee shop. Um, they like each other, and then they fall in love. Well, they fall in love along the way, and then they get married and live happily ever after because. You know, they need some gratification. That's the denouement. The climax is when they hit it off. The denouement is when they're married. That and happens in the song? Uh, no, it doesn't. No, no. Yeah, but the title, so. <laughs> <laughs> the title is what it's about. Keeper yeah. of the flame, you are the breath of my desire. Oh, okay. And if you really want to know how I got inspired, I had a crush on someone. This was long before you, darling. Long before oh. you. And this person yeah. was maintaining the flame of art of music composition. And I always wanted to be a composer. They were maintaining the flame of art. Continuing the art of composition. You know, when you're a composer, people can say everything that's ever been written that was good has been done. You know, you think of Stravinsky, you think of Beethoven, you think of Mozart. But there's still room for improvement. There still should be composers today, don't you think? So now, we're going to set out to improve on Mozart. Keeper of the flame, so because he kept the flame no. of composition. You are the breath of my desire. So I guess the reason was I liked him because of his abilities with the pen and the music. Okay. And now here you are with the abilities of the pen and the music. Is there a little comparison? None. You're perfect. Okay, uh, let's do it. Uh, before we go there, let's just talk a little bit about um, the composition and the way it goes. When I wrote it, it only had two chords. A minor and E minor. But then Sunny Boy, my great musician, darling, what did you do to this song? You added some interesting flavors to it. Well, this didn't is you? true. But you know, you, you, you can't use E minor and A minor only if you're doing, using the melodic minor scale, mm -hmm. which is what you did write this in. So even though you strummed a couple of chords with your guitar when you sang it, you were singing it. 
uh, in the melodic minor scale, which requires that uh, leading tone, that G sharp in the E major mm -hmm. chord. Okay. But not all the time. Sometimes you don't have it. Yes, folks, there are more than eight notes in this scale. Wow, I'm impressed. He impressed me. Well, shall we, <laughs> shall we go to it and make it short and sweet, and you get your little educational and uh, sensational song for tonight? Mm -hmm. Keeper of the Flame, You Are the Breath of My Desire by Molly and Sonny Boy. today for students of our music studio and they presented a nice performance and then we came home and thought we'd share this song with you which will soon be on our album, Long and Sunny Boy's original album and boy the arrangement you made for that album with the rain stick this is our final track and the next thing you know we'll soon have our album up we will soon have and you can enjoy a full arrangement of this song along with full arrangements of all the other songs you've enjoyed on this podcast, like Superman, I Wish I Was You, mm -hmm. Making My Living Out Loud, and much, much more. Well worth whatever your retailer is willing to charge you. <laughs> <laughs> but not just that. We hope you like it. And now you know a little backstory on some of these songs. Uh, the next time, we still promise the banjo rap. Remember how we promised for time and time again, oh. Popcorn Guy? We'll have to yes, do our banjo yes. rap called It Was You. And, uh, Absolutely. That'll be lots and lots of fun. So join us again next time 
for the wonders of rhythm and bluesgrass. <laughs> that, oh, by the way, we figured out our niche. Yes, yes, indeed. We figured out our niche. Some people are jazz musicians, others are rock artists. We are rhythm and blues grass because we do a little blues, we little, do a little country bluegrass, so it's a little um, morphing of the two. Quite so. All right, so till next time, this is Molly and Sunny Boy saying Aloha. Aloha. And peace. Peace be with you.